One of the requests I get time and again is, what are my render settings in Premiere Pro when I make videos? Now, these settings are for me. They've worked for years. I don't change them and I don't need to tweak them. I render out, the video looks great, I upload, YouTube likes it. So take that as you may, but here's what I do. Over here, I just have some project where I did a Premiere Pro project. I was talking about this. I'm not gonna go into all that. Now to render a project, File, Export, Media. It's also Control M. I usually use Control M. This window comes up and you'll notice it shows from the beginning to the end. Those are set by setting over here my in and out points. I have the in at the beginning, the very end of the video, I set the out point. Go to the beginning, I, go to the end, O, and you have an in and out point. That's what this is showing. Now you'll notice here I have these various presets. There's my 4K preset, there's my 1080 preset, and this is for something else I'm playing with shorts right now. Now to set this up and not have to go through all the settings, at least in this version of Premiere Pro, go all the way down to YouTube and let's say you're making 4K video. My videos right now, they're all 4K. Let's pick that. That'll change to YouTube 2160 4K Ultra blah blah blah. 3840 by 2160, correct. All the things in here practically are the same when I render. You notice here it tells you what you're doing. It's gonna output this MP4, it's gonna output 4K, my video happens to be 29.97, blah, blah, blah. Variable bit rate is one pass, I don't want that. Target is 40 megabits per second. That's how fast it's gonna render. I do want that. And this AAC, I always want that. Remember, we're doing an MP4, an H.264, it's an MP4. Okay, cool. So if we come down here and using that setting, we just changed a few things. For me, I would render at maximum depth. That's maximum color depth. Down here, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now this VBR1 passed, this is a variable bit rate and it makes one pass through the video. You can make two passes. I set it to controlled bit rate. In other words, instead of messing around with my video and this frame and analyzing this frame, just take every frame, send it out to the render at 40 megabits per second. Oh, but it might take a little longer. It doesn't take that long and I don't care I'm rendering. All the rest I leave the same. Now this is important. Use maximum render quality. I tick that on because what happens is if you use the maximum render quality, which may take a little longer, if you have sky or you have colors, it'll stop that weird banding you see on videos. And that's all I do. Now the way I handle this is I click this little dude here and I save this as a preset copy of YouTube, blah, blah. I would name it whatever you want. Since you've made changes, it says custom. Let's go back here and look at this. There's my basic filmmaker, 4K, blah, 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 CBR40. For 1920 by 1080, which I rarely do anymore, I put it at a controlled bit rate of 16. You'll notice these are all the same. Controlled bit rate, 40 bits per second, AAC, you scroll on down, it's got all the same videos, hardware encoding, blah, 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 all the same stuff. You notice here the target bit rate is 40. You'll notice the maximum render quality is on. And that's it. That's how I do all my videos. You can either click export and it's going to export tying up Premiere Pro while it does it, or you can pick Q. I use Q. It exports the data that I'm trying to render out to Media Encoder. There's the project, you'll see it's H.264, you'll see it's the BFM 4K. You can change it in here too. You can click this down and pick all this stuff in Media Encoder. And I always render it to the desktop just for whatever. And when I'm ready, I click this go button and it renders the video out. Now there are some people who are get on here and they were talking about pixel peeping and how it should be 50 for 4K or 35 or render time or maybe you do this or maybe you do that. And personally, I don't care. I've been using this for years to render. Nobody's complained, my videos upload and they look fine as far as I'm concerned. I hope that helps, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Don't remember, I have free and paid courses over at Basic. I hope they watch, thanks for watching. I hope that watched, thanks for watching. I hope that watched, oh my God, that's twice. This is not hard to remember, right? Wow, I did this before.
long time ago. I want brain dead in the head. Okay, good.